back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about why you should invest in rust items so I have got a couple of points here um, which I want to make I've been making a lot of um, Cisco investment videos recently uh, so I thought let's mix up and I'm gonna do two rust videos so there'll be another rust video tomorrow about a guide how to make profit but I'm just going to be spending this video on how uh, on, on making the points that I want to make. So if you're either new to Rust or don't really trade on Rust, uh, basically the items only come out for a week in the Rust store and then they never come out again. So some items, they might be on limited stock. Um, and so I would recommend looking at the items you would want to buy if you saw them and then invest into those ones. Also some people scrap the skins that they get for metal wooden cloth with when they scrap that they can uh, get the high quality bags or the low quality bags or uh, any crafting bag really and um, that means if people are scrapping them then obviously there's going to be a lower amount and you can't get those items back um, so that there will be obviously a limited stock of them uh, as you can just see here that there are a few here uh, being sold and only a few here being sold but with the blackout pants there is quite a lot of them so the prices might be lower for them because of how many there are also most people know this but in case you don't older items tend to go up in price more often and sometimes have uh, spikes um, but also the higher price items may go up in price without them being old um, this is because obviously higher price items, not many people will buy them. Um, so they can really fluctuate the price by themselves really. Um, also, if there is a high demand uh, for a certain skin, but there is a low stock of them, the prices can vary quite a lot. So here's a good example, the Alien Relic SMG. As you can see, it sold four years ago. Uh, well, three and a half years ago. Uh, when it first came out it is 24 pounds and the reason why there aren't many now is because of if you think about rust back then they might have not had much of a player base and people might not have wanted to invest in skins um a good example of this would be fortnite uh the only reason why i'm using this is because obviously the skins which came out f like at the beginning of the game most of them haven't come out again making them rarer because um, there was a less of a player base then uh, so a lot of things come into play here as you can see the last one to sell was actually last year on July 1st 560 pounds there are people trying to sell them but it's 700 to 800 pounds um, so yeah the price can change uh, a lot just on the uh, the player base really also when you are wanting to buy look for a direct seller so this could be off a website or someone you know this would make the item a lot cheaper than what you would to buy on steam and also they would get a bit more money out of it um, if they sell it on steam they would get a 15% cut so if they were to sell it to you for maybe 10% cheaper they're getting 5% more than what they would have got on steam and obviously you're getting it for cheaper as well and this could help you if you're wanting to invest in the future I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be announcing the CSGO uh, training card giveaway next video. And the next video will be um, basically a guide on how to make profit. I've talked about the points. You, you can take these points straight away into training. But the video I'm going to be doing tomorrow is going to be uh, more pinpoint and is going to be sort of a longer description of it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to say thank you for all the support. We have got 970 subscribers and 10,000 views. I appreciate it so much. We are getting closer and closer to the 1,000 subscriber goal. So I appreciate you all so, so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.